The barn originally was a cow barn. The first barn was built in the early 1800s. The second barn was built in the late 1800s and they moved the two of them together. When I bought it, there were horses and cows in it. I bought it for the sole purpose of turning it into an antique store at the time. This is a cylinder record player. Before records were flat, they were round. When I opened the, the business, I probably only had, I don't know, maybe 10 pieces of furniture and a couple of trinkets to go along with it. To get enough merchandise, because the business was so strong, you would be on the road a lot. One day I was driving by an airport, and I thought, now there's a good way to go see antiques. So I bought, in the process of probably 12 or 15 years, seven different airplanes, and I would travel. I had roots, just like a milkman. This is your Nifty 50 soda booth. When I started in the business, I didn't know a Chippendale from a Heppelwhite. But most of what we have is actually bought locally. We do a lot of custom building of furniture now. Cost per item is similar or less than new furniture. We've been around for a long time, 40 years now, so a lot of people know us. There's a huge variety of interesting stuff. I never thought it would be this big, no. The history is here, the quality is there. The knowledge that you get through doing this all these years, it's fun to pass it on sometimes. It just has a nice, comfortable feel to it. This was actually a doctor's examining table. Yeah, everything here has a little bit of a story behind it.